walk downstairs. Fourteen steps total. Fourteen. Two. Step through the front door. Sixty-eight degrees outside. Sixty-eight. Reaching ninety-seven. Back to sixty-five. Tonight when you're back inside. One of us. Awake now, that's for sure. Oh, oh! I stepped on my keys. Oh, those little buggers can hurt. What were your keys doing on the floor of the upstairs hallway anyway? Oh wait, let me guess. Um, you dropped them last night, mid swig or mid something else. You know, I did hear Stu start to um moan. Yeah, like a man moan. Maybe we should ask him. He's not here anymore, Hayes. We scared him off. Happy? And at least I have keys. At least I have use for keys. Just say the word and these are yours. You packed. I washed your lucky shirt. Oh, and I, uh, I called them again. Double checked about the ride. Uh, the van's windows will be tinted. The driver will never go above 55 on or off the highway. Barely even feel like you're moving. And you'll have the back row all to yourself. No one will even be able to look at you. It's just how you like it, right? Right. Small blue one. Half red, half blue. to wish you a bon voyage. What did you say? I told him you were in the shower. Oh, and that he and his new wife are festering boils that should be lanced from the ass of humanity. Good, right? <laughs> you took only three, right? Of course. Wanna check them? And if we're missing some, it's only because Stu boosted a few on his way out. His name is Steve Hayes, not Stu. Sorry. So you were saying that she missed her graduation. Graduation? Senior prom? Junior prom before that. All of it. Anything to avoid another attack, huh? So, the last one was when? Are you the driver or the doctor? Look, <laughs> I'm just the guy that's trying to get your daughter from here to there. That's it. Uh, the last one was about six months ago. Six months. Tried going for a walk. About a minute in, she started to choke. 
And um, along came shrink number four and uh, prescription number seven. So now she's got her pills and her birds and her computer and me bringing meals to her room. So she won't eat down here? She won't come down here. She hasn't for months. Well, kind of limits the social life, huh? Hazel doesn't have a social life. Now I was talking about you. No cuts, no scrapes, no nicks, no scratches. No cuts, no scrapes, no nicks, no abrasions. No abrasions. There's your air. All right. And there's your light. And that is your eject button. If at any point you just want to come out and join the party. That invitation's always open, OK, Hazel? You'll be fine in there, Hazel. It's not as a bug. Nothing can touch you. I'll come with you, Hayes. How's that? I'll just come with you for the ride. Good. On schedule. Righto, Hefe. You guys think of everything, huh? Oh, yeah, well, we don't fool around. Well, sometimes we do. <laughs> hey, uh, we got Eddie making a late afternoon return run. He can bring you right back if you want. Oh, yeah? My next return run is tomorrow morning, if you were wondering. I don't know. I'll keep that in mind, McDreamy. Right. Sit still, can you? Look, D, seriously, it's okay. She's gonna love this place, I'm telling you. You made the right choice. It wasn't a choice. 
Hazel just turned 18, so her dear dad stopped paying child support. And he and his new wife decided to hit us with the old threats and ultimatums move, selling our house, cutting off the checks until Hazel checks in, which will only set her back. Believe me. That's optimistic. But that's realistic. Do I know you? You look familiar. I... Oh, I kept worrying I'd go to, like, the exact wrong place. Hi. I'm Vicky. Hey. Damn. Some of us are antsy. What? Never been to a sanitarium before? Oh, sorry. Treatment resort? play golf, right? Professionally. <laughs> I did. I just lost my tour card. I stopped making putts and I stopped eating meals. My agents think I could find both my stroke and my appetite in the desert. What about you? What do you do? World Bank. Stressful gig? I bet. So, what are you trying to find out in the desert? Nothing. Just six days of peace. What about me? You guys want to know about me? Klepto, mania. Careful shaking your hands with the feet, mister. I got lightning fingers. <laughs> hey, you in front, your turn. What's wrong with you? Nothing at all. Come on, you've obviously got something. These shades for you? They were for my daughter. She's in the back there. Damn. I thought I had issues. There, right in point one mile. <sighs> <sighs> Yeah, Ben, we made the turn on. Everyone's fine, Captain. Yeah. Do you hike? I have lots of hiking stuff. Well, I don't know. These days I'm having enough trouble with trail mix, let alone actual trails. <laughs> Will you mind? Jesus, relax, guy. You relax. That girl just stole a $15,000 watch. I didn't steal it. I was joking. Oh, very funny. Ha ha. You're just lucky I'm traveling unattended. Otherwise, your lightning fingers would be in pieces right now. Ooh, big man. Who normally attends you? Is it Thor? Is it Wolverine? Does he normally attend you? No. Just somebody who would have no trouble pulverizing a child thief or her talentless anorexic crush. You sure it's just six days of peace you're looking for in the desert? Because I gotta say, from the vibe I get, I have a much different read on your condition. I think you're just gay, and you're having a really hard time wrestling with your latent but potent urge to be bent over. Excuse uh, me. Guys, why don't we, uh, Try getting a head start on that whole explore serenity thing now. What do you say? Really, it's easy. Just, just go with the flow. No problems here, boss. I mean, I'm from Los Angeles. I don't have a problem if this guy's a queer. Watch your mouth.
Nobody move! Move. Shut up! Bones, give me your phone! It's it's your team move! Don't you move! Don't move, no! Recalculating. (laughs) No! No, no, no! No! Get there! Get there! I said get there! Don't! There! Your phone. We'll just call someone. We can call for help and. They took all of them. Um. I'm sorry, all right? R- really, I-, I-, I am. I I know, I know, I know what you're gonna say. Spilled milk, it's over, but I just want you to know that I'm really, truly sorry. Yeah, you're sorry. Yeah. You're sorry? Yeah. I'm sorry. What, why? You know why? Why? Because I bought blanks, Prue. Huh? And I was a second away from putting them in your piece. But I didn't because I thought, what if the driver, he tags Prue, I'll never forgive myself, right? That chick, she just started laughing, man. Why, why was she laughing? She was laughing. She was in shock. 
Pruitt, she was in shock. People do strange things when they're shocked. Like, they laugh. Like, how fucking high. You know that. We got what we went for, though, right? We came for a girl, not a girl and four dead bodies. We're not bad guys, Pruitt. We don't wear black hats. I told you, just like I told you, to stay calm, man. Don't lose your shit. Don't be a spastic. I don't mean to call you that. I'm sorry. You know everything I do. You do for me, like Brian Adams. Except. Except he doesn't have a brother. <laughs> he doesn't have a brother. <laughs> two males, two females. Driver's a male, I'll grow with the curly hair. Everything matched. Did you get a good look at the other one, the one in front? No, the one no, with the hat? no, no. I was just, I was just looking at the hostage, like you said, the hostage. I got to call him. I got to call him. No loose ends, right? Ever. That's for Defiance, and it's only like five or six miles away, so I can go get help. I can go get help. No. Someone will come. You turn. There are no cars around here, Mom. I mean, why do you think they did what they did at this exact spot in this time? That's not one of your computer maps, Hayes. That's real desert out there. Real sand, real wild animals. Yeah, and a real reservation. Five or six miles away. It would be hard enough if it were five or six yards. Um, thanks, Mom. That's real encouraging. Okay, but I'm not hopeless. No. I'm, I'm doing this. I think we wanted to, we had to. They got wild, they charged, I shot first. Yeah, he did fine. He did fine. All four others. Look, I'm not happy about it either, but what's done is done. Now, that's not why I'm even trying to get you. I need to know about the girl. No, not the hostage, the other girl. mace in your purse, right? Mom, what... What's this? This is probably Steve's. I didn't know it was there. And I'm the one who needs help. Mm. Here. Take this, it's
attack or a stroke. On a Walmart. Among frozen foods. Mom, I... Please, I already told you, okay? I'm not listening to some stupid goddamn deathbed speech, okay? I'm... I'm gonna do this, and I'm... I'm gonna come back, and... And... And I... I'm just, I'm just gonna have to do it tunnel style. I'm just gonna look at my feet and, uh, and, and, and eliminate all distractions. And it'll be fine. And I, I promise I'm coming back. I can't. I can't. You're gonna be fine. <laughs> you will. <laughs> it's just... Jesse thinks you might have a fever. But he's, he's super careful. He's careful and he's caring. <laughs> Takes care of me. He always has. We have the same mom. But she had him when she was way younger. He's like part brother, part dad. He's... He's my Brad. <laughs> Mom, though, she wanted me to be a girl. That's why she hit me in the head with a gravel rake. Made me, um... When Jesse found out, he... He told her, don't you ever touch him again. You got no one to care about you, huh? Is that, is that why you steal cans of Goya beans? Even though your dad's got like 600, 600 million dollars? Well, it is necessary, very. Right. Yeah. Okay. 
caring too and honest and professional. Hey! Get off her! What the hell are you doing? I was just, um... You were just what? You were just what? You were just acting unprofessional. Again. Again! You wrap her up and get ready to move out. Do you understand me? Right. Safe house, further on. We're gonna make a couple of stops first, get more sedative. We're going back to the van, Pro. Wait, we're going... We're yeah, going back to we're the going van. back to the van. I what? worked it out. We make another return if I drive fast tonight. I need you to follow me, Pruitt. None of this bullshit. You understand me? Look at me. Got agoraphobia in the front seat. What was she doing in the front seat? She was afraid of all this space. Shouldn't have been in the front seat. Do this. Now, why do we need a stronger sedative? Because when the hostage starts to squirm, so does everyone else. Good. And the kerosene? So that no matter what's there when we arrive, nothing's there when we leave. Good. Mm -hmm. You take your pills? Yeah, I already took them. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Th this morning, I just got, I just got so revved up, you know, because I was ready, and I, I couldn't, I couldn't even think about taking my pills. You take your goddamn pills.
something jaunty to get your day going. Now, how about something a little more melancholy here on the Rascal Gas? Can't really handle Mozart right now.
I wish they made these things smaller, you know? What are you doing? Put it down. Put, put it down. You may need guns again, right? Need? Yeah. Looks to me like you want a gun, and you should never want a gun, Prue. I know. All right. Let's make some time, yeah? Destination. I only think about steps. Step one. Find your own. Step two. The cactus. Okay. All you have to do is get to the cactus. That's step two. Why mom hates me. One, my attitude. Two, I'm not as strong as she is. Three, sometimes I make her feel dumb. Four, what I did. or didn't do. <laughs> Just topical anesthetic case. <laughs>
Control. Hey, check it out. Did you leave this open? Wacko needs to be in a cage to take a drive. Think she got a ride? Woman comes out here, she ran. Question is where? Where? Damn it. Maybe these footprints would help. Take half steps down about two hundred and three. Avoid grabbing your pants. Why won't you listen? Because you're just a mirage, okay? And a mirage is just a a refracted light ray.
How far do you think she got? A little more than a half mile. Girl had issues, remember? Mm hmm You know, I'm thinking maybe you, uh, you stay back here, Prue. What? Yeah. What are you talking about? You don't want me to come with you? No, this will be quick. I'll be right back. You don't want me to come with you? No, I just, it's just, uh, it's gonna be quick, you know? I'll be right back. I have skills. <laughs> I'm a better shot, you know it. I know it, I know, but we just need to keep this situation controlled. Controlled. Bro. All right. Go ahead. You know your orders? Right? And in control. Secure perimeter. All right.
Be faster. <laughs> Gotta be faster, Pruitt. Too slow. And then it's, uh, we have, um, spinach. Yeah. I don't like spinach. It's such an ugly color. It's so dark. You got lucky. Super lucky. <sighs> Getting down here, in here, but be careful, because after good luck, comes bad luck. Please just stop it, oh my god, just go away. I'm just trying to help, that's all, everyone needs help. Please don't do this. Please, I'm begging you. Uh, uh, uh. <coughs> Gracie. Oh, just fuck me twice, it's you. I mean, you're like a person. Like a real life person, not a bat or a cat or a vision. I thought maybe. Hey, you're not a vision, right? You're not Evie's ghost. You really give me more fucking shit. I came out here with my bike, see? And I heard something. And then I came and I saw something, a car in the rocks, swaying, spooky. And there's you in the car. So, coincidence or sign? You have a bike? <sighs> Triumph Bonneville 750. I was riding, just a little desert ride. I like my thoughts, I have this vision. And I got a little, I don't know, out of my way. It's cool, though, because uh, every destination is really just another exit ramp, right? On the highway of existence. Huxley said that. Aldous Huxley. Doors of Perception. Brave New World. Huh? Is your bike close? Jesus, don't any of you fucking people read anymore. But you were saying... about your bike? <sighs> yeah. Yeah, 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 it's just, uh, it's over there. Um, you see, I'm, I'm sort of, um, enclosed here. But, but maybe you could go on your bike and get someone for me. Get someone for you. <laughs> I, I, I don't do errands. See, I'm, I'm bigger. And errands. Now, if you want to ride, if you want to, want to give our minds the chance to fuse, I'll take you. 
take you anywhere you gotta go. So, what do you say? Also. got picked up we'd have heard by now she's out here somewhere give it just a little more time okay then towards the van and get braids to the house she's our focus <coughs> right and listen once braids pays off and we get some cash why don't you get that cough fixed <laughs> hey i wouldn't wish valley fever on a desert rat <coughs> got it says i don't care what evie said he was the absolute shit i mean check it out on his deathbed dude's dying of like cancer or scurvy or something he asked for the single greatest hit of lsd ever administered to a single human being ever no shit true story i could you know if you want sometime i could i could read you some huxley Check it out. Raven. Oh, Raven. Uh, mister? I'm in a really big hurry. I've got like a really big major emergency. Uh, I know. Mister, we're really running out of time here. I know. My mother, please, we, just, we can't waste one more second. I know, I know. I'm helping you. I'm generous. You should know that about me. We're gonna, you know. Please, your bike, where is it? Right here. Right here. What is that? Triumph Bonneville 750. That's your bike? Well, when I stopped, I gave her a little going over, you know? Some minds just, they won't be contained. What? I can, I can put her back together. I took her apart, yeah? So I can put it back together, easy. Wait, no, just, just wait, okay? 
I'm... I'm helping you. I'm a big person. A thinker. Huh? Why the fuck are you pulling this shit on me anyway? Huh? <laughs> what the fuck? Huh? Well, now I get it. Right. Donnie put you up to this. Huh? What? Donnie, Benji, Evie's fat fuck brother. What are you talking about? Listen. Listen. I didn't touch her. Do people understand? She fell, okay? She fucking fell. I never even wanted to live on the sixth floor. I never wanted the fucking terrace. She wanted the fucking terrace so she could get a fucking tan and look like Farrah fucking Fawcett. Whoever the fuck that is. Now, do you get that? Do you fucking get that? <laughs> Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. I come out here to get away from people like you. People chasing after me with all this Evie shit. <laughs> You people think you can get me? Well, you can't. You fucking can't. <sighs> ah! Fuck! 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 <laughs> Calves from going to the other side of the arena. It's a comedy. So what's but a horse? I don't know if you can ride a horse like that as a horse. I don't know if you can ride a horse like that. I was here. Well, well, I think we can get him for you. All right, Hawkeye. <laughs> My white ass exciting. If that's exciting, I'm claiming it in the year. You mean to tell me you got that kind of action back in Hoboken? Action. Actually, yes, we did. We can't just stay like this, you know. Then give me your phone. I told you already, I don't have one. Come check for yourself. My brother has one. He's on his way back, but I don't think he's gonna wanna give you anything. Oh my God. Are you okay? You don't look so good. Mm. Sorry I shot you. I am. But you shouldn't have laughed like that. At the GPS, you... Shouldn't have done that. That's it. That's the one I want, right there. Right there. <laughs> Baby. <laughs> hey, she's up. Mm. You okay? Oh. You've been out for a little while. You're all dinged up. <sighs> I was, uh, I was out with my metal detector uh, looking for scrap and... Scrap, more like trash, senior scavenger. Yeah. I heard a scream. I saw you way over there on the ground. Whoa, 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 whoa. miss. Almost uh, settle back down. Best thing for a concussion, if that's what you got. 
Just to lay back for a while. Your smack had pals in the trailer next door with Rod's cousin, rinsing his eyes out. Please tell me that's not your boyfriend. No. I mean, seriously, hon, I don't judge, but you really shouldn't be using that kind of junk. You use junk, you meet junk. Uh, I was um, in a van about five or six miles up, and we were in a terrible trouble. Really, I was, I was trying to reach Fort Defiance. Fort Defiance? <laughs> so, uh, well, what? you found it. <laughs> Glamorous, eh? Regular Wild West Kingdom. The chariot out back. <laughs> I don't need a chariot. Just a car. Hun, you okay? Miss, we made the call. Cops are on the way. They should be there soon. Yeah, they never hear about any craziness on the res. They always just jump right on the horses and come and save us. <laughs> Especially with Hustler Rod. <laughs> can, can you... Can you close the windows? Please. They're closed, huh? Okay, miss. The sky's our friend. The sand is our friend, too. Man, I don't know if man is our friend. Don't listen to him. Listen to me. You're gonna be all right, hon. Now, now we even got guns in back. Rod will shoot anything for you for a price. He may not hit it. You said you're in the van? White? From the facility? Well, maybe it was reincarnated. Pull over! Pull over! I gotta stop them! Hello? Hello? Yeah, no, we have it here. If you can just check on the uh, officer. Thank you. Okay. They're checking with Sergeant DeSoto. Miss, we're gonna have to move. You understand? Yeah, maybe, maybe I should go with. I can't allow anybody in the van. It's protocol. But you've done more than enough, believe me. We'll follow. Just to see her get with her mom. <laughs> well, it's not gonna scavenge this side, I promise. Hey, I'm you're gonna be all right. Yeah, we're gonna, excuse me, we're gonna have to go. Thanks. Oh. Thank you again. Okay, Hazel. They just flagged Sergeant DeSoto. I told him his happy hour would just have to wait. Two men, you said? Machine guns and masks? I swear. Yeah, when you guys didn't show up, we were thinking it was a flat or a flight delay or a panic attack at worst. 
Lyle sometimes likes to turn off his cell phone so we don't bug him. And you sure he's dead? I saw it. You know, he used to call me Capitan and Jefe like he was joking. Your mother, at least. You were saying she was still alive. Well, I... I left her alive. It'll be okay, Hazel. It'll be fine. Breathe, Hazel. You want something to eat? I have a snack in my pocket. I could get it for you. I was just getting a snack. I... <laughs> Me and Jess, we're not bad guys. We don't wear black hats. The opposite, actually. You know? So like I said, I'm sorry I shot you. I really hope that you don't hold it against me. OK? Can I ask you something? Do you? You hold it against me. Oh, I'll tell you what. I've been sitting here all day in my own blood. Flies on me. Bullets in me. Sharing a van with three dead people who were talking to me this morning. for one second thought about you shooting me. No joke. Not one single second. What I have thought about all I've thought about is my daughter who's out there Somewhere, please, God. Moving, okay. Breathing, okay. <sighs> so, so to address your concern about what you've done to me, no, I won't hold it against you. But what you've done to my daughter, I... What the hell are you doing? Jesse, she's alive, she's got a gun. <laughs> did you take your goddamn meds? Yes, I did. Prue? Front seat. No one's alive. Front seat! <laughs> Whoa! Put that gun down. Drop that gun. Put it. No. Blanks. Prove. Oh, I had to. Oh, I had to. Put blanks had to. in my gun. Get out of my way. Why did you get out of my way? I can't believe you. you put blanks in this gun. You put that you gun down. You left me out of your car. You fucking. Jesus Christ. Put that gun down or I'll. Hey. What's going on here? Who are you? We're assessing the situation. Get no, no, in no, your vehicle. No, don't listen. I'm not lying. Hey, mister, please. It's Dee, right? Yes. Yeah, I'm here to help you. These men aren't. We're in danger. All right, Dee. Just, uh, I'm going to come over and take a look at you. 
me, not the officer. He's not an officer. Yes, just I am. shoot him. D, D, just let me help you. No, I can't. Come on, no, watch help that me. gun. You can help me, no. but no, he's lying. <laughs> he's lying. Hey, get back in the van. No, 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 stop. You get back in the van. All right, D. Yeah, just let me help you. What we're gonna have to do is clean this all up. Broom it. Good shot. Oh, <laughs> 